I mean, I actually like the track, and if I was a fan, it'd be one of my top five or six I'd probably pick out to go watch. I think the racing is really exciting. It's just a track for me personally uh, that has been more frustrating than some other tracks. Um, I probably don't use my head as much there as I would at other tracks or lose my cool easier or whatever. So it's just... Uh, it's been one of them places that's been probably mentally tough on me more so than, than other tracks. So, uh, you know, it seems like you get ran into a lot or sometimes you run into people and I don't really like doing either. So, I mean, when that happens, sometimes uh, it's easy to uh, it's easy to get aggravated. But I will say that it's been a lot better for us lately. And the last couple times we've been there, we've been pretty, pretty competitive. I wouldn't say it's my favorite track. Um, I go there with a lot of confidence and enjoying the challenges that that track has. And it seems like... Um, you know, we seem to get into a rhythm and be able to be very competitive there, no matter what the cars and tires and everything else is, so, and I hope that continues. Um, there are tracks that I like better, but uh, there, there are a few tracks that I feel as confident in as I do going to Martinsville. Uh, just that it's uh, the smallest track that we go on. It was built in the 40s that uh, challenged cars to run a full 500 laps there on um, equipment and brakes and you don't have that problem these days but it was uh, such an old school track that it was really um, it, I think it's outdated in a sense but it's still fun to race there.